Hi, my name is Andrew and I'm one of the final year medical students. I've been quite given a question today about empathy and um, sort of discussing a time where you showed empathy. I think in a question like this, in an interview, it's important to peel your answer. Um, you're probably taught this in school, um, something like English, history, one of the essay writing subjects. And that's about making a point, giving some evidence, explaining that evidence, and then linking that back to the question um, and about how that sort of moves forward. Um, so my point could be, um, I am an empathetic person and I do often display empathy and I'm well aware of how others are feeling. So that's a good point there. You've summarised and you've explained that you understand what the question's asking. You understand primarily what empathy means. And now you move on to your evidence. Um, if you've got medical evidence, great. If you've done some work experience somewhere, brilliant. If not, don't worry. It's uh, certainly not, not a necessity. Um, for me, I, I worked on a railway. Um, I repaired trains. Um, it was totally non-medical whatsoever. Um, so my evidence could be, one day while I was working on the railway, um, I saw a young lad come up, he was desperate to ride on it, however that day was a maintenance day, we, we weren't operating, um, it made him quite upset, and I could see how upset he was getting. Uh, that had a knock-on effect on the family who were visiting for the day, uh, visiting up, the, up to the northeast of the region, um, and it was sort of something they'd been looking forward to for him for the day. And therefore, as I seen how this was getting him upset and how, how you know it was spoiling his day as such, uh, I was able to arrange for him to be able to come into the engine shed and to have sort of a, a private almost tour of the of, of the engines, get his photograph taken with the engines, sitting in, sort of toot the horn, that type of thing, and uh, it sort of you know really improved his day. So that's a good bit of evidence there. I'm saying that I could, something had happened, I could see how somebody was upset and what I was able to do about that. Um, and that's kind of that's both evidence and the explanation almost there. Sorry, I, I kind of I kind of grouped them together. Um, and often that does sort of happen as you're giving your evidence, you explain your points um, as you go through it, and then link it back to the, back to the question. Um, so you can clearly see that through there, I was demonstrating empathy. I could see how much this, the, the events that had happened that day had upset this young boy, and sort of what I did to, to try to combat that. Um, and also link that back to, to a doctor or, or a medical student, as throughout your career as both medical student and a doctor, you will encounter times where patients are feeling upset, uh, they're feeling stressed, anxious, and you have to be able to pick up on that and empathise with them. So in, in the link section, that's where you do that. So that's just a quick summary there. That was peel, uh, make a point, then give evidence and explain. They tend to come together, really, and then link it, link it both back to a medical student and back to a doctor as well. Uh, and that shows that you've really sort of got the question um, as a whole. Thanks very much. Cheers.